My name is Randy Kies. I'm a professor at the University of Washington in the U.S. I've been coming to the Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary now for seven years, uh, since 2010, um, working with my good friend and colleague, Dr. Dilip Chitri, uh, director of the uh, Gibbon Conservation Center. Uh, we're working together uh, on a training program in conservation biology and global health um, with the intention of trying to help promote um, motivation and, and interest in conservation uh, in the next generation of uh, researchers. So, um, I've traveled through many countries of the world, many forests. Um, in fact, I've spent 30 years working in tropical jungles. Every time that I come to this uh, Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary, um, it, it takes my breath away. This is one of the, I think, true biological hotspots of the world. The diversity of vegetation, the diversity of wildlife uh, in, in this reserve are amazing. Um, you go from large megafauna, elephants, leopards, uh, to some of the smallest unique species of, of insects that we see. Um, this, is, this is truly one of the jewels um, of our country and of our world. Our training program that we do here annually, again our field course in conservation biology and global health, um, is, a, is a program that we see as uh, trying to provide the big picture of, of what is going on around the world in terms of the interaction between environmental health and global health. Um, how people are impacting the environment, whether it's positive or negative, and how those kinds of effects can come back and impact human health. As we know, in most cases, the environment is being negatively impacted by much of human activity. And we're seeing the same problems coming back now to affect human health. Our training program focuses on that main concept, trying to teach students and participants some of the techniques, some of the methods that they can use to help evaluate the environment, the changes in the environment, as well as the effects on human health. Um, in effect, what we're trying to do is to train the next generation of scientists to motivate those people to go out and really help solve the problems that uh, we're facing in the world. In doing our training programs uh, here at the sanctuary, one of the things that has continued to impress me um, and really make me hopeful about the future is the dedication, the motivation of our students and participants that um, come from out throughout Assam, throughout the northeast of India. There is a true sense of, of purpose uh, in, in their hearts that we can see. Uh, a sense of purpose to help with the conservation of the environment, uh, with the wildlife, and also addressing issues which are impacting uh, human health and welfare of the area. Um, this is something which is a growing concern throughout the world, is how do we coexist with the wildlife and still make human welfare uh, suitable and, and successful. It's a difficult situation. Um, our participants come here with some wonderful ideas and thoughts on, on how to address that. Um, what we're doing is giving them some additional tools to pursue that. I, I feel, despite the fact that we are seeing real, real problems around the, the world, what is going on here in Assam is really, I think, a model um, that could be used in, in other, other countries. Um, the, again, dedication, uh, the desire to improve the health of the environment, and its sustainable coexistence with wildlife.